Hey guys, here with my Traxxas Ford Raptor. Two, it's two wheel drive for the slash. One tenth scale, two wheel drive. One second, let me get these body pins out. I redid this video for my second time. This my phone. The storage was full. You didn't see that it was full. So. It's a one tenth scale, and I have a lot of hard, hard time. I have a lot of trouble telling the sizes on the internet so sorry I'm just wondering what my dog's doing so over here the Toro zero turn lawnmower you can see it at um, Home Depot so that's the size of that 250 dirt bike and then that's 450 back there What else can we do it on? Put it on a gas thread. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about throwing them around because they're pretty stout. <clears throat> this here. Five gallon gas thread. Decent size. I mean, it's, it's pretty big. <clears throat> it's pretty big for being just an RC, you know? And this isn't my, uh, this was my first, but this isn't, this wasn't my last, I guess. I have a Revo over here, 116 scale, and I bought a 116 scale brushless system, but this actually takes a 110. 110th scale motor. So, I, I kind of made it work in there. Oopsies, sorry, it's kind of hard to see right here. I made it work in there, but this is broke, so I took the brushless system off of this. And Zeus is getting bigger now, so he, he's not very interested in that anyways. And I put it in this, which, you know, <laughs> it's not the best. I drilled a hole and I screwed this down. I don't, if you get this, I recommend getting the 1 scale brushless system. Valenion. Definitely Valenion. I'll go with that again. This is a great system. Very, very fast. I mean, that 1 scale with the, the Valenion brushless system is... Yeah, it's smoking. But uh, I recommend this RC, yes. I don't recommend it to beginners because if you're just getting into the hobby, you might as well spend a little more money on something different. Because when you get this, it's going to have the Titan 12 turn motor in it, uh, motor, and it's going to throw you off. I mean, you're going to you're not going to really like it. It's slow with the Titan 12 turn. I never really really liked the Traxxas Titan 12 turn budget motor, you know? I don't know. I'm not into that crap. Definitely go brushless. If you get this, make sure you have enough money to get a brushless system. I don't remember how much it was. I got this RC three years ago. That one over there too. And I got the brushless system with that other one. So, if you get this, make sure you have the money laying around for tires. 5,000 my battery. That is crazy runtime, man. I, I didn't think it'd be that long because it's the brushless system. But, whew, I mean, at least 116 scale brushless system. Does great. I get about 45 minutes full throttle, you know, playing around, having fun, and I've gotten two out two hours out of it on my axial grave digger. That's what I originally got this for. And I have the only X235 charger. Ah, uh, you know, I can't really recommend this. I think it cost me a hundred bucks at the hobby shop. You know, it's I don't recommend it. No, I don't. You can only charge one battery at a time. That's what bothers the heck out of me, you know? And then I got this 2S 2000 mAh 35C LiPo battery. I don't recommend LiPos. I, I don't like them. At least that one. I know it's not the best LiPo you can get right now. But I mean, for the price that you pay, this thing does just just as good as that. Just, it's, yeah, obviously it doesn't have the crazy output that it has, but, but it still, you know... It does fine for your everyday use, unless you're like one of those crazy YouTubers who wants to get their car up to 100 and something miles per hour, you know? If you're just having fun, just get a nickel metal head drag. You don't need a light bulb. Unless you really want to break something. And then underneath, with this car, I recommend as stuff breaks, you replace it with RPM parts. This, this stuff down here did not break. 
I just figured it'd take the beating, so I switched all out to RPM. I mean, it did take the beating, especially up front. I run into stuff a lot. I'm not the best driver. Uh, I did have this all torn apart at one point, and I was using it just kind of as scrap stuff, so whenever something needed a screw or <laughs> something, you know, I'd get it from this. But since the RC's down and the axial's down, I just, you know, I figured I'd, I'd bring out the old color. So under here, there are two nuts, and you really, really got to be careful because the suckers will get stuck in there, and you got to take everything apart. Do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it, but not to a beginner, especially if you don't want to throw a ton of money at it at one time. You know, 12-turn motor, if you are got a 6-year-old who's into RCs and you want to give them a good truck, I recommend this, but if you're a 20-year-old or... I'm 16. If you're 16 year old and you want something fun to play with, definitely don't get this unless you got the extra money laying around to get the brush this system. It sucks without the brush this system. You will hate it. You you will be like, ah oh, man, RC suck. I'm never getting this again. Ah, uh, you know, that's what you're gonna be like. You're not gonna like it. 12 turn motor is not good enough. Obviously, it was good enough to keep me into the hobby, but I watch RC Spark, so. I mean, if you're in RCs, you obviously watch them too. So, you know, good RC, yes. Not good in snow. Not good in snow. Even with the sand, snow, whatever the heck you want to call these paddle tires. Um, it's not good. Obviously, it's only two-wheel drive, and the diff slips really easy on this. Really easy. So, a lot of time when you go into sharp corner, going pretty quick, this tire, at least these ones. I don't know what they're called. I got them a long time ago. Sorry, I'm trying to talk to us because I don't have a lot of memory on my phone. The, uh, they will balloon with the brush system and it rubs on the body and your truck's doing something crazy like this and this, this wheel's huge and <laughs> you know it's just not much fun <laughs> it just kind of takes the fun out of it but obviously it's a it's a good RC you know you you can't go wrong getting this with a brush system okay that's that's my recommendation you get this you get the brush system with it I did strip a gear out back here, not with the brushless system actually, which is weird. It was with the 12 turn, and uh, this is the RPM, <clears throat> I don't know what you'd call this, transmission, I guess? Makes sense, because, yeah, we'll call it a transmission. The RPM transmission, I replaced it out with this, and man, I don't recommend doing that, because I think I did something wrong, there's a good chance I did. Because, you know, I'm not the smartest. I'm a dumb high school kid. But, you know what? It's decent. 5,000 mAh battery. This is really important. You want a big battery. Because you're going to be out there for 15 minutes with a 2,000 mAh LiPo. And then you're going to plug it in and you're going to wait an hour and a half to play with it again. So that sucks. That really, really sucks. And the 7.3 volt 5,000 mAh nickel metal hydride by only X is, uh... Fast enough. Zeus ran off. Hang on. I don't know if you can see him. You can't. It's fast enough to keep Zeus, a Bernese Mountain Dog. He's a puppy. It's fast enough to keep him tired for most of the day. Uh, if you if you want this for running your dog around the yard, definitely brush the system because the 12 turn brushed would not be able to do that. I hate that motor. If you can't tell, I hate it. Um, yeah, I, you know what, transmitter's not bad, I can drive it down the road until I can't see it, which I am blind, not blind, but, you know, I can't see very well, uh, yeah, I recommend it, definitely, with a brush system and a bigger battery, 2,000 miles, you know, it's not enough, man, not enough, 15 minutes, granted, you're going crazy fast with that lipo, but, <laughs> You're breaking a lot of parts. That's how the Arriva got broke. I'll tell you that. But, uh, you know, it's good. It's a good setup. So, slash two wheel drive, plus the slash four Raptor. Is it good for the money? Yes. In a way, it is. If you got a 10 year old child, I'm, I'm a child too, but a younger child. Is into RCs. Give him this. You'll have fun with it. 
if you're 16, 20 year old or older, you know, it's not going to be much fun for you because it's slow with that stock motor. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but definitely go go with the brushless. Lenion. Lenion brushless system. Pretty sure it's Traxxas. But, you know, I think this is... I don't know what year this is. Um, like 2015 version? Three years ago, I think? I don't know. They came out with a newer model. This doesn't have the stability crap or anything in it, so... But it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go all wacko on you because this rear diff slips, but it does go wacko on you. Like if you're going into a sharp turn, this, this rear diff will slip and this tire will go crazy and it rubs on the body. Cause it's, it, I think this is, these are 2.2s. I'm too lazy to look. I'm running out of time, but good RC. Yep. Recommend it. Get her done. Have fun. I don't know why I said get her done. Get it if you want it. Have a good day. Peace out, people. This is, I'm just going to go before I make this any more awkward.